Hello everyone, welcome to the course Engineering Mechanics Statics. My name is Anur. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Cartesian vector. The operations of vector algebra when applied to solving problems in three dimension, it is important to represent the vector in Cartesian vector form. Simply, for example, if we have XYZ coordinate system with a unit vector of i, j, k, which are perpendicular to each other, this kind of coordinate system is called Cartesian coordinate system or Cartesian vector form. Simply, when we represent any vector in this coordinate system using the unit vectors of i, j, k, it is called Cartesian vector form. So, in a Cartesian vector form, we use a right-handed coordinate system. This means the temp of the right hand points toward the positive z direction as we can see here. This means simply let us think about moment. If we have moment in this coordinate system when the vector of i crossed with vector j it gives me positive third vector which is perpendicular to i and j it is k this k is considered as a positive if we cross i to vector j so this simply can be uh, represented by a right handed rule so representation of vector in cartesian form is simply let us look this is vector a its origin is here. So this vector in a Cartesian form can be represented as a sub x i plus a sub y j plus a sub z k. Simple, okay? Now let us see rectangular components of a vector. If I have vector a here as shown, this vector a it is in space. Don't, don't be confused, don't think this vector is, is located in yz plane because this is a three-dimensional system. This vector is out of the plane. So, vector A is equal to using parallelogram law, simply A is equal to A prime plus A sub z. This is A sub z and this is a prime this is a prime so furthermore the projected line of a to the xy plane is a prime so a prime is equal to a sub x plus a sub y finally a is equal to the, re the rectangular component of a is equal to a x plus a sub y plus a sub d. Simple, okay? Now let us see 3D Cartesian vector. In a three-dimensional coordinate system, A may be expressed in Cartesian vector form as A sub x i plus A sub y j plus A sub z k. From the blue triangle, from the blue triangle here, A is equal to, using Pythagoras theorem, A is equal to the square root of A prime square plus A sub z square. Furthermore, from the yellow right triangle, using Pythagorean theorem, A prime square, no, this is, delete this square, because I put this in square root. So, A prime is equal to square root of a sub x square plus a sub y square. The magnitude of the position vector a finally can be expressed as a is equal to square root of a sub x square plus a sub y square plus a sub d square. The coordinate direction angles. The direction or orientation of vector a is defined by the angles alpha, 
beta and gamma what are those angles well alpha is the angle between x axis and vector a beta is the angle between y axis and vector a gamma is the angle between z axis and vector a using trigonometry cos alpha is equal to a sub x over a cos beta is equal to a sub y over a cos gamma is equal to a sub z over a this is a sub x and this is a simple okay let me raise this well uh, unit vector of any position vector is u a for example for this case is equal to a divided by magnitude of a which is equal to vector a is equal to a x i a sub y j a sub z k so we can divide a sub x i by, by the magnitude of vector a plus a y a sub y j divided by magnitude of a a sub z k divided by magnitude of vector a this is the unit vector of this vector a simple another expression here a x over a is equal to cos alpha and a y divided by a is equal to cos beta a z divided by a is equal to cos gamma simply we can have another expression for the unit vector as u sub a is equal to cos alpha i plus cos beta j plus cos gamma k remember uh, the angle of those three directional angles alpha beta gamma is between 0 and 118 degree an important relation among the directional cosine angles is cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equal to 1 on, on the other hand if I know the angle of the two directional cosines let's say for example if I know the angle of uh, beta and gamma simply using this relation I can calculate the angle of alpha so finally vector a may be expressed in a Cartesian form as a is equal to magnitude of a times it is unit vector because the unit vector is expressed as cos alpha i plus cos alpha j beta j plus cos gamma k we can substitute to this formula a is equal to magnitude of a times cos alpha i plus a cos beta j plus a cos gamma k simply this can be expressed as a is equal to a sub x i plus a sub y j plus a sub z k